Om Shanti. Today is Sunday, the 11th of February, 2024. Let us hear the Avyakt Pap Dada's Murli, which was originally held on 24th February, 1998. The Avyakt Pap Dada's Murli of today, Sunday, 11th of February, 2024, is a revised Murli of 24th of February, 1998. The essence of today's Avyakt Murli is have love for the father, service and the family and you will become free from having to labor. Let's hear the essence once again on this Sunday morning. Baba says have love for the father, service and the family and you will become free from having to labor. Om Shanti. Today, Children from everywhere have come to celebrate their father's birthday. Whether you are personally sitting in front of the father or are here in your angelic form, you are in front of him. Baba says the father is seeing all his children. On the one hand, you are happy to be celebrating this meeting and on the other hand, you have the zeal and enthusiasm to do service in order to reveal the father as soon as possible. So, what are the two things which we are happy about? Baba says, on the one hand, you are happy to be celebrating this meeting and on the other hand, you have the zeal and enthusiasm to do service in order to reveal the father as soon as possible. On seeing you children in all directions, Bab Dada gives multi-million, billion-fold congratulations. Just as you children have come from far, far away, from all corners, to celebrate the father's birthday so bab dada has also come from far far away to celebrate the children's birthday baba asks us who has come from furthest away the father or you you would say we have come from very far away but the father would say i have come from even further away than you however it takes you time to come here whereas it doesn't take the father any time so what is the difference although we also come from far away baba says i have come from even further away than you however it takes you time to come here whereas it doesn't take the father any time all of you have to catch a plane or train whereas the father simply has to take a chariot it isn't that only you have come to celebrate the father's birthday but that the father has also come to celebrate the birthday of the brahmin souls who are the original companions the children who have been his companions from birth so the father has also come to celebrate the birthday of the brahmin souls who are the original companions the children who have been his companions from birth the father does not incarnate alone but brahma takes a divine birth with the brahmin children that is they incarnate together so baba says without having brahmins the father alone cannot create this sacrificial fire so baba created this sacrificial fire with the brahmins through brahma and only after that were all of you created so what is baba telling us baba created this sacrificial fire with the brahmins through brahma and only after that were all of you created so whether you have been with baba for 2 years or 2 months congratulations to all of you for your divine brahmin birth this divine birth is so elevated baba says the father is very happy to see the sparkling star of fortune of every brahmin soul who has taken a divine birth and constantly sings the song wah What song do the Brahmin children sing? Wah, Brahmin children who have a life as valuable as a diamond. Wah, you all are wah wah. That is wonderful. Are you not? Baba asks us. You are all wah wah. Are you not? This father has made you into wonderful children. The father's alokic birthday is very unique, and the birthday of all of you children is also very lovely and unique. only the birth or jayanti of the father is like this no one else has ever had a birthday like this nor will anyone ever 
have such a birthday as the incorporeal one's divine birth. So, Baba says, only the birth or Jayanti of the father is like this. No one else has ever had a birthday like this, nor will anyone ever have such a birthday as the incorporeal one's divine birth. All souls take birth with their own corporeal bodies, but the incorporeal one is born by his entering someone else's body. So what is Baba saying? All souls take birth with their own corporeal bodies, but the incorporeal one is born by his entering someone else's body. Has anyone in the whole cycle ever taken birth in this way? Baba asks, Only the one father has such a unique birthday which devotees have been celebrating as Shiv Jayanti. This is why you know the importance of this divine birth. Although devotees don't know the importance of this, they do consider God to be the highest on high according to what they have heard and they continue to celebrate it. So what is Baba telling us about devotees? Although devotees don't know the importance of this, meaning Shiv Jayanti, they do consider God to be the highest on high according to what they have heard and they continue to celebrate it. Baba says, you children just don't celebrate this, but as well as celebrating it, you also make yourselves the same as the father. You know the importance of the alokic divine birth. No other children take birth at the same time as their father. But Shiva Jayanti means that as well as the father's divine birth, it is also the birth of his children. This is why you celebrated the diamond jubilee. So, as well as the father's birth, it is also the divine birth of the children. Only this birth can be the birthday that is as valuable as a diamond. And by celebrating this diamond like birthday, your lives become like a diamond. All of you children understand the meaning of this very well and you also explain it to others. Bab Dada continues to see and hear all the news of how you children celebrate the divine birth of the father with so much importance, zeal and enthusiasm. So what is Bab Dada seeing? Bab Dada continues to see and hear all the news of how you children celebrate the divine birth of the father with so much importance, zeal and enthusiasm. In return for the serviceable children's courage, Bab Dada continues to give them help. It is the children's courage and the father's help. So what is it? It is the children's courage and the father's help. Baba says, nowadays all the children's one thought of love reaches Bab Dada again and again. Now I have to become equal to the father as quickly as possible. The father also says, sweet children, you have to become this. Each of you has this determined faith. However, you now have to underline it. If I don't become this, then who will? I was this, I am this and I will continue to become this every cycle. Do you have this firm faith? Baba asks the double foreigners. You double foreigners have come to celebrate Shiv Jayanti. All of you double foreigners, raise your hands. Bab Dada sees that the greatest enthusiasm the double foreigners have is for not leaving out a single corner of the world. So what is Bab Dada seeing the enthusiasm of foreigners? Bab Dada sees that the greatest enthusiasm the double foreigners have is for not leaving out a single corner of the world. Those of Bharat have received a lot of time to do service and so they have given the message to every village. However, the double foreigners have received less time to do service than those of Bharat. Nevertheless, because of their zeal and enthusiasm, they have proved to Baba that they have served well and will continue to prove this. The service that has begun in Bharat of serving all the different professions has made it easy to give Baba's message to all the professions because those from each profession want their profession to move forward. So, this invention of serving the professions is very good. So what is Baba saying? This invention of serving the professions is very good. Through this, there is very good splendor through the special souls from different professions who have come.
you like this do you not you like serving the professions do you not baba asks us those from abroad also bring good groups here by having retreats for them that too is a good method what is a good method those from abroad bringing good groups here by having retreats for them baba says just as those from bharat have taken the chance to serve the different professions in the same way the method of double foreigners is also very good bab dada likes the service of both sides they are both good jagdish bhai has created a very good invention who invented the idea of retreats and dialogues in the foreign lands everyone says everyone did together in bharat too baba says everyone has worked together but someone has to be the instrument it is good everyone likes a gathering of their equals in doing both types of service you have a chance of bringing many type of souls close you like the result do you not was the result of the retreat good baba asks the result of serving the different professions was also good whether from this land or abroad there is and will continue to be one invention or another whether in bharat or abroad there is good enthusiasm for doing service bab dada sees that those who continue to move forward by doing selfless service from their hearts accumulate a lot in their accounts of charity what is bab dada seeing those who continue to move forward by doing selfless service from their hearts accumulate a lot of in their accounts for charity they accumulate a lot in their accounts of charity for all the children the first account is of the reward of their own efforts the second account is of receiving blessings by remaining content and making others content and the third account is of charity in return for doing accurate service in a yogyukt and yukti yukt way so what are the three accounts the first account is the reward of their own efforts the second account is of receiving blessings by remaining content and making others content and the third account is of charity in return for doing accurate service in a yogya and yukti yukt way bab dada continues to observe these three accounts of all the children the indication that children are accumulating all three accounts is that they experience themselves to be constantly easy effort makers and that others naturally receive inspirations for the easy effort from them they symbolize easy effort they do not have to labor they love the father service and the family these three types of love free you from having to labor so what are the three things they symbolize easy effort they do not have to labor baba says they love the father the service and the family these three types of love free you from having to labor bab dada has the elevated hope in all you children that you will all constantly be easy effort makers you have been laboring and wandering around in confusion on the path of devotion for 63 births this birth now is the only one in which you can become free from having to labor baba says if you still continue to labor for a long period of time then when would you claim the blessing of the confluence age the blessing of becoming an easy effort maker by receiving love when this age ends this blessing will also come to an end so claim this eternal blessing as quickly as possible no matter how great a task or a problem may be overcome that task or problem as easily as removing a hair from butter when bab dada sees the games of some of you children as well as being amused baba also feels mercy for you baba says when any problem or task comes in front of some of you children this is sometimes indicated on your faces your faces change a little then when someone asks you what has happened you say well there is too much work to do if you don't have any obstacles how could you be praised with the title of destroyer of obstacles <laughs> baba says if you don't have any obstacles how could you be praised with the title of destroyer of obstacles 
let there be no signs of tiredness or any indication on your face that your mood has changed even slightly why are there any signs of tiredness or a change in mood in your non living images that have been worshiped for half a cycle baba asks since the non living images are always smiling whose images are those they are yours are they not so the non living images are memorials of you in your living forms this is why there mustn't be even the slightest trace of tiredness or in other words of irritability as well as bab dada everyone else loves a constantly smiling face so what is baba saying as well as bab dada everyone loves a constantly smiling face would anyone go in front of someone who is irritable they would first think should i say anything to this one now or not devotees come to your non living images with a lot of enthusiasm so would they like it if you become heavy in the living form baba asks devotees come to your non living images with a lot of enthusiasm so would they like it if you became heavy in the living form now bab dada wants to see all the children's faces as angelic in the form of a bestower of blessings in the form of a bestower merciful tireless an easy yogi and an easy effort maker don't say well the situation was like that no matter what the situation may be you should be constantly smiling and cool being serious and mature should be balanced with being light and entertaining what would people see if they suddenly came in front of you and because of problems or any task you do not appear to be an easy effort maker what will they see that is the picture of you that they will carry with them therefore baba says if at any time someone suddenly takes your photograph then whether you are 1 month old or 2 months old let your faces be as baba has described become bestowers don't be those who take but one who bestow no matter what someone gives you whether it is something good or bad you are the ones with big hearts who belong to the greatest father of all even if someone gives you something bad you with your big hearts must not accept that but you become bestowers and give that one cooperation love and power give that one a gift of one virtue or another through your stage you are the children of the greatest father of all the one who has the biggest heart let extra love emerge in your hearts for that soul because that soul will be transformed with the power of this love are you ones with such big hearts baba asks us or do you have small hearts do you have the power of accommodation then accommodate everything so much rubbish is thrown into the ocean but the ocean doesn't throw the rubbish back to the person who threw away that rubbish you are the masters the children of the ocean of knowledge and the ocean of all powers so did you hear what bab dada wants to see the majority of you children has kept the aim of transforming yourselves this year don't say that you will do it sometime in the future or that you will think about it but that you will definitely do it is it that you have to do this or that you will think about it when you return home those who feel that you have to do this clap with one hand that is wave all raise their hands very good baba says don't just raise their hand don't just raise that hand but also raise the hand of determination in your mind it is easy to raise that physical hand the hand of determination in your mind makes you into constant embodiments of success whatever you think that has to happen the thoughts you think would of course be positive you cannot think anything negative the path of negative thoughts is closed for all time so what is baba telling us the thoughts you think would of course be positive you cannot think anything negative the path of negative thoughts is closed for all time do you know how to close it or does it open by itself like the doors that open by themselves during a storm it isn't like that is it baba asks us 
you may think that you just closed the door but a storm opened the door so don't leave the door so loosely closed acha the celebration of the double foreigners was good was it not there was a ceremony of honoring nearly 400 double foreign brothers and sisters who have been in knowledge for 10 years or more so baba asks did you enjoy it those who celebrated it and enjoyed themselves raise your hands there are also pandavas in this what is the importance of this what is the importance of celebrating this to celebrate means to become constantly wear this crown what would you call effort for the self and responsibility of service it is just enjoyment so what is it that baba is telling us what would you call effort for the self and responsibility of service it is just enjoyment constantly wear the crown of enjoying service everyone wore a golden chunni that is a scarf like shiny gold material baba asks why was the golden chunni put on all of you so that you can constantly have the golden aged stage not silver but golden you also wore a garland you wore two garlands which two garlands will you wear one is to be a constant garland around the father's neck constantly don't ever remove this garland from around the neck remain the garland around the father's neck secondly by serving constantly you make others part of the garland around the father's neck so first is themselves being a garland around the father's neck and secondly by serving constantly you make others part of the garland around the father's neck these are the two garlands so those who celebrated it enjoyed themselves and those who watched it also enjoyed themselves so baba has told you the significance behind these celebrations as well as this to celebrate means to increase your zeal and enthusiasm bab dada saw each one's experience you had good experiences happiness and intoxication were visible on each one's face simply keep your powerful form smiling serious and mature baba says simply keep your form powerful smiling serious and mature as well as light and entertaining according to the situations of the present time there are more who simply listen to these things and far fewer who understand these things there are more of those who see you and have an experience instead of telling them these things they should be able to see the father's introduction in your faces so this was good bab dada is also happy to see all of this this year this season has been a special season of celebrations things cannot be the same all the time so what is bab dada saying this year this season has been a special season of celebrations things cannot be the same all the time so now bab dada conducted drill do all of you have the power to rule are you able to rule your physical organs whenever you want have you become masters of the self only those who are masters of the self can become masters of the world whenever you want no matter what the atmosphere is like if you order your mind and intellect to stop are you able to stop them or would it take some time baba says it is essential for each of you to make this effort every now and then throughout the day whenever your mind and intellect are very busy then try and see at that time whether you are able to stop them in a second so when you think stop it should not take you 3 minutes or 5 minutes to stop them this practice of this will be very useful to you at the end baba says the practice of this will be very useful to you at the end on this basis you will be able to pass with honors acha to all the loving souls who constantly celebrate with zeal and enthusiasm from their hearts to those who constantly experience a life as valuable as a diamond to the special souls who are authorities on the basis of their experience to the serviceable souls whose faces reveal the father and give his introduction to the souls who have a right to everyone's blessings by constantly maintaining a balance 
between being serious and mature with being light and entertaining to all the children from all the directions in this land and abroad please accept congratulations congratulations for shivratri also please accept deep heartfelt love remembrance and namaste from dilaram bab dada the comforter of hearts finally today's blessing may you be a bestower filled with all treasures by being aware of your form of having all rights to sovereignty and of your worthy of worship form blessing once again may you be a bestower filled with all treasures by being aware of your form of having all rights to sovereignty and of your worthy of worship form baba explains constantly remain aware i am a worthy of worship soul and a bestower who gives to others i am not a taker but a bestower just as the father gives to all of you of his own accord in the same way you also have to become master bestowers and continue to give and not ask for anything maintain the awareness of your form of having a right to sovereignty and of being worthy of worship people have been going in front of your non living images up to today and asking for something or for protection so you are those who protect not those who call out for protection however in order to be a bestower become full of all treasures by having remembrance good wishes and pure feelings and by doing service finally the slogan for today the happiness in your behavior and on your face is a sign of a spiritual personality slogan once again the happiness in your behavior and on your face is a sign of a spiritual personality acha om shanti